update. What? Hey guys, so um, filming for me has been uh, quite difficult lately because as some of you guys know, I am back at university. I'm in my fourth year of university and I'm actually taking six courses. School, YouTube, trying to be social, other kind of aspects of life. It has just kind of been overwhelming lately. Um, so that is why I haven't been able to film as much. So today's video is going to be an acne update video and I haven't done one of these in a very long time actually. And the reason for this is that I feel like sometimes, maybe even like month to month, two months to two months, I feel like there's not really much progress in my skin or I haven't really been trying out different things, so there's not really much to talk about. But at this point, um, there's definitely a lot of different things that I have been doing for my skin. So this is what my skin looks like right now, and I have, I think, like three active breakouts. But overall, currently, it is mostly scarring. So as you guys can see here, I have some scarring on my cheeks, on my chin, and the same goes for the other side. I would say that my acne scars have definitely faded. For me personally, it's just so up and down with my acne, like sometimes I will have just a huge breakout and it will last for a while and then other times it will be nothing. And right now I'm going through a nothing phase, which is awesome. So I have actually decided to go the natural route in terms of my skin and I have tried so many different creams and the like. And I've decided that um, that is not for me. I've done a lot of research. And I know that when you have acne, when you're using acids and peels and all this kind of stuff on your skin, um, it can just aggravate it more. And it can actually make your acne worse. So I've decided to go uh, pretty much the completely natural route. So now I will explain to you guys how I've been doing that. So I do get contacted by quite a few acne companies and it can be overwhelming because it's like, if you wanna try something out, it can take a long time to actually test to see if it's working or not. And also I don't really wanna be using like all these different kinds of um, chemicals and stuff on my skin. So I was actually contacted by a company called Clear Skin Weekend and I'm using their wash right now and I didn't really think uh, much about it to be honest and then I opened the package and it actually came with a book. I'm at my sister's right now so I don't have it uh, but it was just talking about how to clear your skin naturally and this is always something that I have wanted to do but I've never actually made the effort to do it because I felt like I wasn't educated enough. So this book has like so much information in it, natural methods and like DIY kind of things um, to cure your acne, but like with a natural product. So I was actually thinking about maybe making a video on that. I feel like maybe that's something that you guys would like to see. So anyways, they sent me this wash and by the way, like you guys can just make it on your own. Like you don't have to buy the wash from them just because it is all natural. And the wash is almost all done now, but what it has in it is pure organic aloe vera juice, raw honey, cinnamon, and guar gum. So it's just like straight up all natural. And I've been using this in my face and it smells really good. And I'll have the ingredients linked down below if you guys um, wanna make the wash yourself. And then for moisturizer, it's a mix of sunflower oil and lavender oil. So yeah guys, just like completely natural. And then for treatment, I've been using tea tree oil and this is 100% tea tree oil. And I've just been using this on my blemishes and this does a really great job but just like drying out uh, active breakouts. And then I have been using coconut oil to actually take off my makeup and holy crap guys, okay. I know that coconut oil is expensive and no one wants to pay, what is it? It's like $12 and as I'm saying it, it's like wow, okay, maybe that's not really that much. But just for something like oil, I mean like I don't really want to be spending $12 on coconut oil. My life has been changed in terms of taking off my makeup because I wear, I wear, I wear a lot of makeup, you know, like I wear foundation, I wear eyeshadow, I wear the whole shebang. So I need something that is going to take off my makeup and, um, you know, like makeup removing wipes. They have a lot of chemicals in them that aren't good for your skin. So you can either use a cotton pad or you can use your fingers just to kind of like gently um, push it in there and your makeup will come off 100%. It is absolutely amazing. Um, because I find that with makeup wipes, it doesn't 100% get off my makeup, but with this, it does. And this is all natural, and you can use it for other things as well. Um, you can use it for cooking and all that kind of stuff. So as you guys may know, I've talked a lot about uh, derma rollers, and I have one here. I'm actually my sister, so I don't have my individual one. Uh, but this is just one for your body, and for those of you who don't know what a derma roller is, so it is essentially this rollerball device, and on the end it has little micro needles, and you can get the needles in increments of, I think, like 0.25 
0.5, 0.5, and then like 1.0 type of thing. So what you do is you take it and you roll it all over your face and what it does is it makes like little mini injuries into your skin. So your skin is like, oh my goodness, what is going on? So it just builds your skin cells. I don't know if the word is collagen. I'm gonna use collagen, I might be wrong but it just sort of builds up collagen so your skin heals quickly. So people also use this just on scars or stretch marks or something like that. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to use vitamin C on your skin afterwards. Um, and I moved and vitamin C is something that you keep in the fridge so I haven't um, gotten any more vitamin C so I haven't been using it for like the past month and a half. And I started off with the 0.25 and then I started using the 5. 5 is probably better for acne scars so I definitely still really love the Derma Roller. The company that I use it's Spanish Acne Scars and it was actually created by another YouTuber and I love to support YouTubers. I find it so inspirational when people do their own companies. Um, her name is Dazers89 and I definitely recommend it for people who have tried everything because it literally is so different from you know like creams or antibiotics or something like that like it's actually kind of going on the outside of your skin pricking needles and then forcing your skin to grow quicker so forcing your skin to kind of um, repair those scars so the kit I believe I think is um, $60 so I will have it linked down below and it gives you every single thing that you want to and it is by another YouTuber and um, there is a coupon code down below. I think it's uh, $5 off if you guys are interested because before I ever buy something I always make sure that I can get the absolute best deal on it. I will just try to search up coupon codes and you can even go into Google and be like blah blah blah. Walmart coupon code and you will find that like I am all about the coupon codes and now I want to talk about my diet So I have actually uh, made the effort to change what I eat. I have made the effort to go wheat free Dairy free and sugar free so for me personally I uh, when I'm going to the grocery store I will stay away from those things and what I do now is I actually read the ingredients of everything Whereas before I would just look at like calories or something like that but now whenever I uh, buy food, I always look at the ingredients and I make sure that I know what is in every single product that I buy. But uh, when I'm out with friends, for example, or if I'm going out to eat, if I'm eating at someone else's house, I'm not picky because I mean like, what can you do? And for me, it's not, it's not like I'm allergic to anything like this. It's just that I'm trying out this new kind of uh, way of eating to see if it's going to help with my skin because I have heard so many people have success stories with eating this way. So guys, um, that is everything for this video. I feel like it was really long but I had a lot to say because it's been a while since I updated you and I feel like my videos in general are kind of on the shorter end so I think it's okay for ones every now and then to be longer. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried out anything that I've been talking about and also comment down below and give this video a thumbs Thumbs up if you guys want to see a DIY natural acne treatment sort of video. And I have Instagram and Twitter and I'm very active on the two of those if you guys want some more kind of like insight into my life. If you would like to know some stuff uh, that isn't in these videos. Okay, but uh, overall I think that's it and that is everything and I will see you guys on the flip side. Where did that term originate from? I just want to say it now though. Should I start saying that? I don't think that I should, but I'm going to say it for the singular video. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.